Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 29. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. Okay, so we have this from Lantern Step. We have 6, 9, 24, 5, and here we have 10, 2 whole number, 1 over 2, 5, and 2. Here we have 15, 3 over 4, and here we have 7 whole number, 1 over 2, and here 1 over 4. Okay, so do well to subscribe to this channel. So let's work on this first. So to find 24... So we're going to look looking at 24. We have 9 times 6 equals 54. And we're going to also have 5 times 6 gives us 30. So we're going to subtract this and we have a 24. Okay, so to find 6. If you realize this method, you notice that we're using 6 to multiply this and this. So we're going to be having, since we're looking for 6, remember we're using this to multiply this. So we're going to be forming an equation with it. So 9 times 6, which is unknown, we're going to have 9 times x. Okay, minus, remember we subtracted here. So we're going to be following the same pattern. So minus 5 times 6, that's 5 times whatever it is that we have here. So since we do not have our 6, we're going to be having 5 times x. We're going to be looking for x, which gives us 24. So 9x minus 5x, your algebraic equation comes algebraic processes comes into play. So 9x mi minus 5x, we have our 4x, which equals 24. So we're going to be dividing both sides by 4 here. So divide by 4. So I'm going to divide this out. And 24 divided by 4, so our x equals 6. Okay? So next, we're going to have to find 5. So to find our 5, we're going to have a 9 times 6, which gives us 54, and 54 minus 24 minus 24 we have 30 okay so 30 divided by 6 we have 5 okay so don't forget to subscribe like this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems okay so let's go ahead so to find the last number on this example which is 9 Okay, so we have 6 times 5 is 30, 30 plus 24, we have 4 and 5, that's 54, right? So 54 divided by 6, so 54 divided by 6, we have a 6. So 54 divided by 6 is 9. Okay, so that is it for these examples. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. So let's go ahead. Let's work on this example. So here we're going to be looking for 5 first. So to find 5. Let's see if this pattern here would work here. So to find 5, we're going to have a 2 and a half 
times 10. So if we want to find this, let's simply change this to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2 times 10. So at this point, we can divide. 2 can divide itself 1 and 2 can divide 10, 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 2 and a half times 5 is 25. Okay, so next we're going to also, remember we're looking for 5. So we're going to have a 10 here times this. That's 20. Okay, so we're going to subtract 25 minus 20 is 5. So that's it for our 5. So to find, let's do uh, work on our 10. To find 10, okay? So to find 10, remember this 10 is more like a constant. So it's, you're using this 10 to multiply this and this, okay? So to find 10, we're going to do this times this. So 2 and a half, since our 10 is not given, we'll replace with x minus 2 times 10, which is our x or so, and that gives us 5, right? So we can also work on this. So let's subtract this. So I have 2 whole number 1 over 2 x minus, we can actually change this to a fraction. And when we do that, we can have 1 whole number 2 over 2. So this is the same as 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus this 1, we have our 2. So we have x, which is equal to 5. Okay, so at this point, we can... Uh, we can use the LCM. Our LCD here is 2, 2 minus 1. We have our 1, right? So 2 divided by 2 is 2 times 1, and we have 1x. So we simply write x and not 1x. So minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 times this x, we have our 2 x right so equals 5 so this is an equation now this is there's an invisible one here so 1x does x minus 2x is that it can actually not go so we're going to borrow one from here and we're going to replace it with the figure which is our denominator so we have two this one symbolizes 2 over 2 Okay, so we're going to have 2 here. So we're having 2, remember our x, don't throw it away. x plus our x minus 2x all over 2. Remember equals 5. So 2x plus x is 3x. 3x minus 2x is 1x or you say our x x over 2 which is equal to 5 right so at this point we make our x subject formula you can simply cross multiply so we have x equals 2 times 5 is 10 okay so we have uh, the next number to find here uh, let's get our 2 so to find 2. So we're going to have our 10 times 2 and a half. So our 10 times 2 and a half means our 10 times 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2. So you can divide here. This 2 will divide this. That's 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. So 25 minus 5 that's the 5 up here gives us 20 so 20 divided by 10 equals 2 okay so we have 1 2 3 so we still have one more figure to find that's 2 and a half so we're going to find this to find 
two whole number one over two. Okay, so we're going to have our 10 times 2 equals 20, right? 20 plus 5 is 25, okay? So 25 divided by 10, we have 2 whole number, 5 over 10. So when we reduce 5 over 10 to the lowest term, we have 5 divided by 5, 1, and 5 divided by 10 is 2. So we have 2 whole number, 1 over 2. Okay, so that is it for this problem. Do well to like, subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye.